Okay, so this is chord voicings for all of me. Here's the C6 that I would use up here on the 8th fret. And I, so I go, might go to E7 like this. I, this E7 is okay, but I like the way this sounds better. I've got the 5th in the bass, and then I might alternate it. A7. And so there's a way of playing a kind of a suspension or it's like an E minor. I've got B on the seventh fret, G on the D string, which is fifth, seven, five, seven. So sometimes I have a long, long period of time on a dominant seven. And the next chord is D minor. And since I got two bars, I'll go to the dominant of D minor. So this is like, there's a C sharp diminished seven, but it's like an A7, it functions as an A7 flat nine. Seven. So I'm picking the six, four, and three. Then I've got two open fourth in the second fret on the G string. That's a diminished chord. Three, two, and three. I'm skipping five. And then four, two, and four. Here's the fourth line, D7 which I'll alternate with an A minor. D7. So I'm going to start over. One, two, three, four. six, no fifth string, open four, that's kind of an F minor six, and then C six, E minor seven flat five over B flat, so I got B flat, G, D, and E, six, five, seven, five, and then A seven, D minor, G seven, That's kind of a nice turnaround. C6, C diminished, which on the chart says E flat diminished, same thing. Then I did D minor 7 over C. So that's 8, 7, 7, 6. And then I just went back to diminished, even though it says G7. 